So the last thing I want to do to the engine bay is to paint the valve cover. So I'm going to do that today. These spark plug seals are leaking, so I've got some new ones to replace it. Yay! They're all out. Some of them were split before I even um, tried to get them out. And that's why they broke so easily. Okay, so I'll put the new seals in once I've painted everything. And uh, same with the new gasket, everything I've got. Um, I'm going to start just wire brushing everything down. Um, I'll clean it with a bit of brake, uh, brake cleaner first. And we'll go from there. Look tacky. If you can imagine there's some red. Yeah, so I wanted it kind of. Here it is, finished. Just gotta wait for the clear coat to dry, so I'll leave it overnight. Um, one of the things that happened is that it's too cold for the clear coat, really well, it's too cold for painting. Um, so I had to go over it with the heat gun to stop the milkiness from the, from the clear coat. And it seems to have worked, so it looks uh, perfect again. So I'm gonna take it inside and let it dry there overnight. Right, it's the next day and paint is done. 
So it did come out a little bumpy and that was because of the primer. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to sand this part down though, just uh, here, because this is where the stick is going to go. And it is quite bumpy, I'm not sure it'll stick to that. Uh, but um, I'll decide when, when it's back on the engine. I'm going to paint the bolts in the same colour, but I'm not going to prime them. Basically what I'm doing to get the seals in is getting a bit of dish soap and lining this and then lining the edge as well. I'm using a plate from a clamp kit for a, uh, for calipers. Just put it in there and hammer it down. Okay, the seals are in. I'm just gonna push the push the tabs back down. Here's a new gasket. Here's the old cover, looks like crap, it's snapped, yeah, that's why I didn't have it on in the first place. And here's the new one, this was expensive, <laughs> I had to get this from Dubai and it was, including all the import tax and everything, it was like £40, ah, it's for this piece of plastic. So I have to put the new plugs in. All finished. Looks so good. That cast iron colour. I'm glad I chose that. So I just painted the bolts for the heat shield. Put the heat shield on. This is the moment of truth.
looks good. So I've just bought a CRV for now because the Celica is gonna go. So, hello, I love it. It's front wheel drive and I want something rear wheel drive and it's slow. <laughs>